Welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. A few days ago, one of my uh, subscribers I'm going to look now to get his name. So his name is Mr. Nizar Sifi. This this gentleman he contacted me and asked me if I can uh, help him with his project so he was trying to connect the ESP8266 via Wi-Fi to internet <coughs> in order to create like a web server to turn on and off uh, a LED for the moment for, for, for demo so in one evening I give him a, I send him a message and I say look I'm free and if you can we can have a look how we can figure out your problem. So we managed together to update the firmware inside of ESP8266 and uh, to upload the demo scheduled web server and I fix his problem. Then I was thinking that I have I have also three pieces the same, the ESP8266 and like since last time I was trying to figure out with them the problem one year ago back but any of that firmware that he was in that moment was working on. So I update uh, the firmware with the new one that I find that is version 1.1.1 and then I upload the demo sketch with the web server and was working so for that I say let me use one let me use one for my uh, for a small project in order to switch on and off my working bench light and in order to do that I need to start to solder in place few components. So I finish uh, to solder everything. So I have the 5 volt regulator, voltage regulator. So I'm gonna come with 12 volts here and I'm getting out just 5 volts. So let's see the moment of truth. So, so let's see. We hear a power supply, I think is almost 12 volt, but I think it's 9 volt. So let's have a look. So yeah, 9 volt. And if I plug it here, I should be able to get on this two wires just 5 volt. So that is positive, that is negative. So yeah, 4.9. So it's working. So my idea is to add glue with this one here. So let's try. I'm 
fluid in place. We're going to be holding this one. And here I'm going to make a hole where I can plug the power supply. Using a TTL uh, USB converter. And I use it also 3.3 volt LG regulator. And I have this breaker board that I am just plug here the ESP A266 and then I flush the firmware. So I flush the firmware and I update also the I uh, also install the through Arduino IDE the web server code. It's just a demo in order that I can try to see if it's working. And I had also this relay module for the SPA26 kicking around on my stock items. So I'm gonna try to see if it's if it's working. So I have this one already prepared and the code is inside. And I mentioned before that uh, that I uh, solder my part that is going to be the power supply which is that one so I can give a try so I have through this wire that I say that I have plus and minus 5 volt so I can try to connect them over there so let's unscrew a bit the, the place where I can plug so this is positive the red one so the positive goes in this place here and I try to push it good okay, so that is the positive that's the negative And then I'll just power this one in order to have 5 volts here and to try if it's switching on and off the relay. So let's power. And I can see that is working. And let's try to go to my web page server which is that one and if I click on on so you heard the kick so if I press on off it's go on and off so that's working now the unique thing is what I need to do is just to mount inside the box make the connections and I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, see how it works when it's everything inside the box. So I'm gonna try to see in which side is uh, is. Uh, the right place on these three plugs when I have the on button push it so 
so let's have a look let's see which one uh, in contact right now so add those two because when I press off switching off and when I press on switching on so yeah we can continue to connect all the wires around So I'm almost done with the, all the connections. Now is the moment to see if uh, everything works. So I'm gonna switch off the, my emergency light over here. I'm gonna bring the power for my new light. Okay, and now let's see if I can turn on and off with my web server so lights are on lights are off so working perfect so let's mount it in the case I'm pretty done with it, so it's everything all right inside the box. Uh, so I also bring the power supply that is a bit more stronger. So the one that I was using before, it's here it's fine. so I was using this one before to 12 volts to amp. So was getting a bit uh, warm so I have one with five arms over there so I added that one because already only the lights are drawing like 1.8 and this one again few milliamps in order to keep the connection to internet so let's try if it's everything all right so I'm gonna just power off I'm gonna just turn off the lights that I am using right now then I'm gonna bring my mobile here and let's see if I can so if I press on lights on and if I press off the lights are off Actually, I also update a bit the, <coughs> the the sketch. I add some more things inside so to be a little bit more nice. So I power it. Let's turn off the light that I'm using momently. Okay. Let's go to the web server page. So should be this one. So you can see I modify a bit. So turn on, turn off. So I'm happy with. Now I have also automated the uh, light on my workbench. Thank you guys for watching, and please like, subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell in order to receive notification when I'm gonna post new videos.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग गाइज